Greetings and salivation. I am Umthoff Neverborn, the abyss that slumber, and you are listening to The Elvish God. Okay, um, I've been driving around trying to think about how to tackle this particular topic, and last night I wasted all my time working on a different video, which I'll put out later. This one's going to be quick and dirty, and I'm going to do very little editing. I just want to express my raw feeling on this matter. Recently, there was a so-called neo-Nazi who claimed he wasn't a Nazi, but everybody said he was, who got punched to the head. I'm sure you've all seen the videos. There's no need for me to retread it. More recently, there was a, I'm going to call it a riot at LAX, where a so-called neo-Nazi was punched out entirely, knocked unconscious, and his, the victors mocked him, saying, where is your Fuhrer now? And later they would chant, peaceful protest, peaceful protest. And then there was the shooting in Quebec City, where a white supremacist shot up a mosque, killing six Muslims. For every person out there who said it is okay to punch a Nazi, those six deaths are on your head. And this is not hyperbole. I'm going to explain why. Because each and every one of you who said it's okay to punch a Nazi said it was okay to kill a Nazi. And I know you're about to go, no, no, didn't say it was okay to kill a Nazi. I just said it was okay to punch him. Well, how many times can you punch a Nazi? Let's go with one. Let's say you're only allowed to punch a Nazi once. Mr. Miller was a man who lived across the street from me my childhood. He was always kind to my family. And when my mother was alone and dying from cancer, I did my best to take care of her. And Mr. Miller was a widow. And he was with her. They started dating, and he became my father-in-law. He was a good man who made my mother very happy in a time of her life at the end there where she was dying. And while they were together, he took one shot to the head. I'm going to skip over the particulars because it doesn't matter. I've forgiven the people involved. But like a man, he said, I'm fine, I'm fine. And he sat down on a couch and he tilted his head back. He closed his eyes and he never woke up again. From one blow, one shot. It's all it took. Just one shot. If you say it's okay to punch anybody because of what they believe, because you've demonized them, because you have chosen to give them the label of ultimate evil, and that's what you're doing when you call anybody a Nazi. You're saying you are the ultimate evil. Then you make it acceptable for anyone else who declares somebody else the ultimate evil to go out and kill them. Because if I can kill you with one punch, what's the difference between that and using a gun to shoot up a place? The only difference is how effective I'm being. The only difference between you sitting at home advocating and stirring up hate and resentment for those people you only disagree with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're evil. You're all evil, right down to your black little hearts that don't pump blood like a normal human being, but some sort of thin, oily, viscous fluid that I'm sure if it were ever spilt would dissolve both flesh, bone, metal, and stone. You're, you're monsters. Every last one of you is a monster just as much as the monster who murdered those people. I don't particularly like Islam, but I don't hate Muslims. I hate the sin 
but not the sinner. To you, you disgusting people. You make me want to puke. What's wrong with you? You ever, you've, I've, you've obviously never been in a fight. Never had the shit beat out of you for ten goddamn years. Never had seven people gang up on you with a baseball bat in the hands of one of them and beat you into a goddamn coma. Never really been in a fight. And I loved those guys out there. I'm a pacifist, but yeah, I, I do this. <laughs> Not a pacifist then. I'm a pacifist. I won't strike anyone. Even when you're kicking my ass. I'll grab your arms. I'll wrap my legs and arms around you. Put you in a bear hug. I'll get you in an arm lock. I'll get you in a headlock. I will immobilize you. And I know how to do that. I'm really good at that. I'll immobilize you in a way where you won't even get hurt. I will take you down without putting a bruise on you. Because that's my job. I deal with people who try to kill me on a regular fucking basis. I've been bit and scratched and beaten. And I keep coming back because these people don't mean it. They're crazy. They're actually insane. That's why they're committed. And I do my part to try to help them. And I forgive them because I know they can't actually control themselves. Or they wouldn't be there. But you people, you need to be committed to a goddamn mental institution. Or you need to go to prison. Because if you advocate for the murder of people, which is what you do, every time you say it is okay to punch anybody who we deem evil, there's no redemption for you. None. If you believe this, you're wrong. And you're evil. You are evil. And even though I'm calling you evil, I say to anyone who is listening to my voice, do not strike these people. Do not lash out at them in vengeance, for there will be no reward for it. The only way to win against these people is to wait until they make the mistake. They cross the line. And then we allow society, who we have ceded permission to commit violence to. That is why we have the social construct. That's why we have a government, and that's why we have a police force and an army. Because when individuals take it upon themselves, there's, there's nothing. 